Hi, let me show you how you can make a stylized map of a country whose parts are clickable pixel perfectly in Godot. The first thing we do is get a map. We check the default resolution of Godot to use it as the image resolution in GIMP. Then we import the map as a layer and scale it with height as the reference. We create a layer for the outline and select a brush with one pixel and no dynamics. To get the stylized border, we draw by holding shift and clicking left. We test the outline by duplicating the outline layer and filling each part. Then we create a layer for the collision information, continue by selecting a color with the red channel starting at value 1 and filling the first part. We continue doing so for the other parts by increasing the value of the red channel by one each time. With the color picker tool we test if we have assigned the values correctly. We can crop the image to save some space. Every part gets its own group, assigned the value of the red channel as the title to keep it organized. Here we can be creative. Wow. Now we export the collision map.
If we want, we can create some default look for the map and export it. And we also export the outline map. And we also export each part of the map. Here is an example of how to create more parts. And here is a small idea how to make the outline more shiny. We import all the images into our Godot project, carefully deselect the filter on all of them and the alpha border setting on the collision map and re-import them with the new settings. We create a scene tree by adding nodes just like here and add a script to the root node. In the first three sprites we set the collision map, the base map and the outline map and in the child node we add the part. Then we changed the offset to the top left for all maps. We also disable the visibility of the parts. In the script, we first get the image data of the collision map so we can read pixel data from it later. Furthermore, we add some state variables. If a different part of the map is selected, all the previous parts should become invisible and only the hovered part should become visible. For testing purposes, we introduce some mouse handling. P 
Piece by piece we build up the function that detects which part of the map the mouse collides with. We read the pixel correlating with the mouse position, read the red channel and use that value for our selection function. Now we change the mouse handling test part to something way more meaningful. We also add a little debug label and add a little index guard, because since we didn't add all parts in this example, the application might crash. If we want, we can even move the map and the collision will still be valid. And because you might have already forgotten how to add more parts, here's another example. Yay!